Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we're gonna do a fun little video, a combination of showing you just how fast bearded dragons can grow, and also we get to have a little visit with Sam and Ella and check out how big they've gotten since we last checked in with them. And we're also gonna show you how fast Rankin's dragons grow because they grow really fast too. And we're gonna show you, uh, we're gonna show you some that were hatched at the beginning of this month and show what they look like in comparison to ones that are two months old already. So let's go check them out. So right here you see in my hand, this is a newborn bearded dragon that just hatched out today. This is one of our breeder dragon's uh, babies. He's not really active right now because he's really tired from all that hatching. Hatching is a big job, little buddy. But I'm just showing you what a less than one day old bearded dragon looks like. And uh, then we're going to see what a six month old bearded dragon looks like. Right over here. This is Sam and Ella. In one of our Let's Spy on Tie-Dye videos, we revealed the names for these guys. I hope you can understand the pun behind their names. Uh, Sam, who's sitting up here, and Ella, who's down here. So Sam and Ella, they're only about six months old each, but you can tell that they are already huge, and it just goes to show you how fast beard dragons grow up from the newborn size to the six month old size. And it just kind of emphasizes that starting out with a bigger tank is the best idea because it's not gonna be long till you're gonna have to upgrade if you start them out in a smaller tank. So a 40 breeder you definitely wanna start with even as babies because they will grow out of any smaller tank very quickly. <laughs> so here we've got Ella. This is what she looks like when I'm holding her so you can see how much a handful she is. She's probably going to move around a little bit because she looks like she's going to be a little feisty. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you in the bottom right corner here what she, what size she was when uh, she was only a few days old. So you can see that in six months' time, you have like a, uh, almost a sub-adult bearded dragon on your hands. <laughs> yeah, she is going to be a nice big dragon. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're quite the handful, but you're a sweetheart, aren't you? Yeah, for sure. She's a beautiful orange color. This camera doesn't even show just how bright that orange color is. And you can see that uh, for becoming a show bearded dragon, she's doing really good with handling. And it's important that we get her out and handle, handle her like this so she gets used to it. Because we want her to be a little spokesperson for her species. Yes, yes we do. And here's Mr. Sam, and he, uh, he's a lot more hyper than Miss Ella is over there. Say, yeah, and you're much more hyper, and he's a little bit smaller than she is, too. So each dragon, you know, they're gonna have their own, uh, genetic predisposition for being either bigger or smaller. And you see he's already getting his nice black beard in. Got a nice dark tail, getting some of that male coloration in. You're getting to be such a big boy, aren't you, Sam? Yeah such a big boy yeah gotta hold on to you he's like I'm on the move yeah <laughs> all right so now we're gonna take a look at the Rankin's dragons these little fellas were born on August 1st of this year you can see how tiny they are let's see actually they're not as tiny as they were when they hatched they've grown a lot in the past two weeks already yes and they're little spastic oh you're not spastic you're friendly come here come here Oh, some of them are smaller than others. You get some big ones, some smaller ones. But yeah, they are a lot more hyper when they're little like this. Now I'm gonna show you what, let's see. These guys were born in the mid-June. So let's take a look. Let's see. These guys were born mid-June, so I'd say they're about two months old. So look at this, my hand. Look at those big, big guys. They grow super fast. This guy, he fits easily between my fingers and these guys, man, they are just, they're growing so fast. Especially this one. Look at you. This one's the big one. Oh man, look at you. I think this is the male. Yeah, we kept two females and a male. Look at you. 
Uh, these aren't the ones that are on our store floor. But, uh, yeah. But I think that's one of the females, but look at a handful she is. Look at that. What's cool about them is that she they come in different shades of brown. Got two darker ones and then that lighter one. Oh, you can give each other a kiss. They're in, they're a lot more calmer than the little ones, as you can see. But you can just see, man, when it comes to beer dragons and Rankin's dragons, they grow so quickly. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little look at our uh, new show beardy Salmonella and of course our little baby Rankin's Dragons. And now you've got a better idea of just how fast uh, those two different types of dragons grow when you get them. So yeah, make sure you start out with a bigger tank. There's no harm done by that because they will grow out of any smaller tanks quickly. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.